Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Dr. Muhammad Ali Shumali. is the resident imam and director of the Islamic Centre of England. Dr. Shumali. Thank you. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, presiding officer, members of parliament, everyone here. I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to address you today. I've been to Scotland many times and always associated with welcoming people and beautiful nature. If we reflect on the development of religions and traditions, we realize that there has always been a central question. That is how to keep your people together and convince them that by remaining inside the circle, they are better off. Otherwise, you may lose them. This is closely related to the issue of identity, how we understand our position in relation to others. Unfortunately, often the way to demonstrate we are better off in the circle was to distance ourselves from others. Instead of saying what you are, the focus was on what you are not. This type of identity is based on fear and exclusion. It's certainly not going to work in today's world. If it worked before, it's because the world was very partitioned and people often did not meet people of other faith, ethnicities, or cultures. This is not today's world. And this fragile understanding of identity no longer works. We need a new type of understanding based on what we have, can offer, and appreciate in others. Relating to others is an essential part of everyone's identity. I cannot be a good Muslim or Christian or a good Iranian or Scot unless I know how to relate to other people and accommodate them in my own identity. For believers in God, this is a very important part of our faith. How can we believe in God, the creator of all, and then fail to care for part of God's creation? For us, every human, animal, bird, flower, and drop of water is significant because it's a manifestation of God. So now we need to rethink our understanding of identity. Human bodies have different organs, and each has its own function. But nothing survives in isolation. They can only survive in relation to others, finding their role within a bigger unity. When I look at the Quran, I see that this is actually God's plan. In both his creation and revelation, God has showed us the way towards unity. God's plan is that humanity unites around the truth. And one of the places in which we can establish a model of mutual recognition, respect, love, and unity is Scotland. May peace be with you.